Hey guys, in this video here, what we're going to do is I'm going to show people who have never used DJ software in their life how they can uh, basically take Tractor and mix with it very easily. It's not hard. You don't need a DJ controller. You can do everything right on the computer. It's very, very simple. But the first couple things you're going to do is however you manage to get your version of Tractor, whether it be illegal or um, you borrowed it off the internet, let's just say. Because there are versions out there. Just be careful with viruses floating around and stuff. I really don't encourage anyone to get a cracked version. And I myself, I haven't really used the Tractor LE version. But you can go to nativeinstruments.com. And I think there is a free trial version you can try out as well too. So, I have a full version myself. Because I DJ, I teach this stuff. And um, now I'm going to teach you. So I'm going to get off the screen here. First thing we need to do is to set the preferences in Tractor to make everything work and look like my stuff so you guys can follow along. You're going to go to your audio setup. In your audio setup, you want to pick your speakers. Right? Then you're going to go down and you're going to pick your speakers there as well too. You want to enable multi-core processing. And then... The next thing you need to do is go down to your transport controls. Make sure in transport controls that beat sync is turned on. You want everything to look like this, essentially. Okay, hopefully you got that. I'm just going to go through and tell you things neat should look like this. You know what, and for now, we're not going to even bother with four decks. We're just going to go two. Because that's all you need. Change the grid mode to full. Show me that markers is yes. Be in spectrum. We don't need the cover art. And track deck. We want that row there to say key and we can put bit right here don't need to know about that mixer change that to Z ISO Z that one's Z by default smooth you want to see your equalizer and faders filters and your crossfader we want to see our effects. Under our effects, we only want to have two for now. Mix recorder, leave that. Everything else for the meantime. Analyze new imported tracks, yes. Analyze new tracks and loading, yes. Save credit loops and samples automatically, sure. Don't change anything else. Go into Analyze Options. Set this, depending on your style of music, 98 to 195 works great. Set Beat Grids, yes, yes, Open Key, yes. Um, take all of that information. You're going to close it. Now, as it stands right now, for some reason, my audio says it's not going... So, you see where it says output monitor? You want that not connected, that's your headphones. So here's a good one right here. If you had an external sound card, you can get them for about 30 bucks, right? A little USB one that you could plug in. Your monitor, you would select that sound card. So that would be where you plug your headphones into to listen to your mix, right? But we don't, we're not worried about that. We're just doing or master. That's the only one that we're worried about. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold there, guys. One sec. Sorry about that. Okay, so as you can see, our audio is now fine. Now that everything's perfect the way we want it, go down. You want to go to export. 
Everything's checked. Yep, yep, yep. And then call it something. I'm just funny like that. Save it. So if anything ever changes, you want to go back to those settings, you can go import and go through the complete reverse and load it all back up. Okay, so here we go. You can hit your space bar. That pulls up all your stuff here. So you have a track collection. Your track collection will have a bunch of loops in there and kind of crap that it comes with native instruments. But it's like a database of telling you where your songs are and where all the information is. So you should have really nothing major in your track collection. What you do want to do is go into your Explorer view and you're either going to be looking, you go into your music folders, your music folder like on Windows by default, that's kind of where all your music goes, right? So I can pull in. Now I'm gonna. I'm trying to find something that. Uh, okay, see this for instance, right? Now my friend analyzed these things before, but what you would typically do is you would right click, you tell this thing to import to the collection. I'm not gonna bother doing that because I don't want to take up the time to do it, right? And you can tell it to analyze the whole thing too. That makes the little waveforms all that stuff, right? But we don't really need to do that. So, right from there, I can right click and I can load into deck A, B, C, or D. I can analyze, I can show it in the Explorer, wherever it is. I can look for it in a playlist, I can delete from the collection, I can import it to the collection. And um, we're going to load it into deck A. Song is loaded in. It's analyzing. Okay, so our song is now analyzed. And find my mouse here. Keep touching my trackpad and it keeps stopping it there. <laughs> so right, this is our transport controls. That's everything, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's your master, that's your sync. Those are important. This is the BPM. That everything else will follow. So here, very quickly now, these are loops, so you have up to 32 bars, 4, 8, 4, 2, 1, half, there's a 4, there's an 8, and here, these are, this is your mixer, there's a filter, Let's turn it on, These are on by the default. Sorry, my throat's going on here. So you got your mids, your lows, their kills. When you click there, those are kill switches, so you can kill everything, right? Silly windows doing some silly stuff. So if I go down here, when I take the song, I can drag it into the window as well too. Turn my mid back on. The song's still analyzing over here, but that's fine because we can just 
take the loop out. We'll wait for it to analyze and build a beat grid. And now that we have our beat grid, take a crossfader. We don't want to hear this side, right? Just want to set it up. So if I'm looking here, say, where do I want to mix it from? Maybe I want to mix it right from there. So I can move my crossfader over. Let's get some more volume here. And when I look here, you're going to wait. You'll know when to mix it. It's going to be right here. One, two. Go into your filter, turn it on. Filter down. You want to bring it back in a little bit. Pick up the bass, you want it. Up the mids. Let's go loop. Make this from the master. You know what, you can get as creative as you like. So I can hit stop on this one here. As you can see, we're moving along here. We get closer. The red, if you read a spectrum, it should be pretty self apparent if you're looking at it. Blues are highs and snares and stuff. Here's a bass about to kick in. But it's small. It's a small waveform, so it's just a little thump, right? You'll see it's progressively going to get louder and louder and louder. So while we're waiting for all that to happen, let's double click, reset all our stuff here. You know, I'm going to start this one right from the beginning. Watch, sync's already in. One, two, three, in. Filters are down now, so watch. Watch this. Start this one up. And I like that little loop there. So I can go down to move. And let's say I want to move that. Loop. Right? Now watch, it's going to move by four. I'm jumping. Move it by 
pick steam if I want to. Fancy, pop up here, turn on your delay. Then pick delay, turn and then click two. Click two over here. Turn up the delay. Freeze it up. You can adjust your rate. Watch this. So, I know it's been a long 17 minutes, but when you think about it, if you stuck around for 17 minutes, you should have learned enough right there that you can go do a party. And just with those uh, techniques, and um, you don't need to know anything more. And people would be shocked. They'd be amazed. But be the magician of the whole night. So, um, yeah, that's my uh, beginner, beginner, beginner tutorial. Hopefully this has helped. If anything's over your head, leave a comment, ask me a question. I check myself all the time. I'm more than happy to help out a guy that's trying to get into DJing for the first time. You might be 16, you might be 60. It doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Like, as long as you're into the music and, uh, you know what? If you need to know where to get some music, I can even point you in that right direction too. Talk to you guys later.